I'm Rhoda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're joining us. Today, we have Tabata with a twist. High intensity interval training, HIIT workout, where we're gonna burn fat and boost metabolism. We'll be using dumbbells to make this a high intensity, but not high impact workout. If you're looking for workouts that will protect your joints while you burn fat, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, I call this Tabata with a twist. So Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. Usually you do eight exercises and you go through those four to eight times. Knees up and twist. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take those eight exercises, we're gonna do them for 20 seconds each with that 10 second rest. And then we do them for 30, arms forward and back. And then we do them for 40. I'm gonna have two versions of this video. The shorter video will end there. The longer video, we're gonna go back down the other side. 30 seconds on each exercise. It'll start to seem easy because that 40 seconds is a super challenge. And then back down to the 20. It's a fun workout. I haven't done one of these in a while. Had a lot of good feedback on them. Arms up and down. Awesome fat burning. And we're gonna use weights to get their heart rate up. And at the same time, we'll be toning the muscles too because we're lifting and using resistance. Now, I'm gonna go with light weights for me. I want you to go with light weights. Now, that could be twos, threes, these are fives, eights. You know, if you really want that strength challenge, you might need to slow it down a little bit. But I'm gonna use my lighter weights. We're gonna curtsy as low as you can, press, curtsy, press, or tap back, press. Pick which works. Here we go on a block. Down and press, and we're moving. That's why the lighter weight is going to be a little easier to control. And for these 20 seconds, we can push it. And once we get to the top at 40 seconds, we will need to slow it down. Be more strength based then. It's going to get your heart rate up. And that was quick, right? Whew. Holding the weight together. Going to press it forward. We're going to squat and stand or rear leg raise. Now let me show you. Squat, press, or rear leg, press. Rear leg, press. Squat, press. Or rear leg, press. Rear leg, press. Pick which works for you, okay? You need to take the bending out. Do that rear leg raise. You're still getting a lot of glute work. All right, we're gonna hinge down. From here, twist, twist. Back up, all right? A lot of movement. Down, twist it, really rotate, twist. Look at the weight, follow the weight. Twist, twist. Not gonna get a lot in these 20 seconds, but boy, this is a challenging move. I'm gonna do it for 30 and 40. Got a rest coming right here. And rest, good. All right, get into a side lunge. I'm gonna start stepping to your right, palms towards me. Come up with a curl. Now, watch me if you need to take the bend up. Over, up, stay on that side. Up, keep low if you can. Push to the toe up here, come up and squeeze those glutes. Keep those elbows into your waist, none of this, okay? It's not flying around. Control it. Feel how squeezed cardio works, right? Heart rate comes up. Other side. Learn all these moves. We'll know them by the end, I promise. Over, curl it up. Remember to take the bend out if you need to. And rest. All right, back to that deadlift position, but we're going to stay in it. We're going to row, tap back. Movement. Here we go. Take it down. Row and tap. Tap. Back is flat. Hold your abs tight. Just tapping that foot back. Come into a balance on your single leg. Take the tap out if you feel like you're losing your balance. Keep this upper back row going. And rest. All right. Weight is back behind your head. 
touching each other, okay? Now, wide squat, press it up, oops, <laughs> wide squat, and up. Here we go, over, up, over. Now, when we get to the 40 seconds, let me go with just one weight here. Tough move. But, hands up over your head. Heart rate has to work a little harder to get Heart rate is up. <laughs> Heart rate has to work a little harder to get the blood up there. Swing through, come up with a lean. Ready? To your right first. Now I'm bending my knees pretty deep here. Don't have to. You can hinge. Be yourself. Hinge and twist. Getting that ab work. Total body here. And rest. 10 seconds. Curtsy presses for 30 seconds. Ready? Right leg back, as deep as you can go. Here we go. Curtsy and press. Now 30 seconds, we can slow it down a little bit. Keeping the movement going, We're using the resistance. Muscles working hard. Muscles want oxygen for fuel. So they're asking your heart to put more oxygen to them. Your heart is asking your lungs to bring it. So that's why your respiration goes up as your heart rate goes up. And rest. Whew. Weight is in front. Squat press or lift. Put the foot down, press it. Ready? Here we go. And press. Weight in your heels if you're squatting here. I get the mic right up by my mouth. I don't know if you can hear me up and above it, but I am. Weighted cardio. Great way to get cardio training for your heart without hurting your joints. That's why I give you options for the squat moves. All right. Deadlift down. Fly. Fly. Bring it up. Here we go. Take it down. Follow the weight with your eyes, twisting that shoulder as you squeeze the back. Hold those abs tight, work in the core, work in the abs. Keep going, come on. There it is. I'm gonna finish this. Good. Standing on your right leg, side lunge, up to the curl, palms face me. Take the bend out if you need to. Here we go. Lunge. Bring it up. Elbows in at the waist. It comes up to the shoulders. Relax the grip on your weight. Tendency when moving quickly to hold on really tight. Obviously, you don't want to drop them. You don't want to throw them right here across your room. But keep the blood flowing in your hands. Don't squeeze these weights too hard. We're moving quickly. And rest. Other side. See how we're getting the curtsies? Oh, oh brush on. Getting the curtsies, the side lunges, the wide squats, all of it's happening as far as lower body. And then we get the back, flies, twists, and rows. Chest pressing forward in the squat, shoulders pressing up in the curtsy. Triceps with that wide spot, that's the top one. And abs. And rest, good. All right, deadlift down, staying down here, back is flat. If you need a break, come back up and then come back down. Row and tap, ready? Here we go. Tap it out, tap, tap. Abs tight, pull them tight, back is flat. You're pulling back towards your waist, not up shoulders, not up here, okay? Pull back, back. Feeling this, even though I'm using these light weights. The girl heavier weight here, sure. But going quickly like that, just in different 
different way to train. Ready? Step to wide squat, step in, overhead extension, I'm going with one weight. My arms are sore. Vaccinations yesterday. Elbows towards me. Think about that. Don't let them come out to the side here. You take it out of the tricep. We want to work the back of the arms, don't we? And rest. Excellent. All right, I'm going to gauge how I feel for 30 seconds using both weights for this swing through up to a lean. I may go with one weight when we go to four seconds. Now I'm bringing up other side. Remember to swing. That weight, throw off your core balance. Those stabilizers have to work. Keep you upright.
going to take the rest if you need it. Got the 20 minute version of this. Wouldn't that be a great way to start your day when you're short on time? Tight on time workouts, I call them. Think of all the movement you can get in 20 minutes. Even better 30, but some days, me too. I want to move. Time is tight. So, even if you get out of lunch for a 15 minute walk, come down and we're going to do the row. That is movement. Movement is medicine. Figure out where you can dedicate 15 minutes a day minimum to your health. You are worth it, okay? Slowing this down a little bit. Going back, remember, back to the waist, back is flat, legs are tight. It's like bending those knees. Come on, beat, there we go. I was waiting for that. All right, wide squat to the tricep extension, working the back of the arms. Ready? Elbows towards me. Step wide. Up. Get low here if you can. All right? Otherwise, you're stepping out, so getting that lateral work. Lateral side to side. You want to work in all the planes of the body. So front to back, side to side, twisting from the middle, bending from the middle. And press. Okay, what am I doing? I think I'm gonna try. I always put my weight down, right? So I'm gonna try with my heavier weight swing through and up. Other side. Pull the hips back, push them forward. Lean back, lean the hips. Back, back. Don't round your back, here, okay? Taking the bend out of the knees. If you need to, you're just hinging. Get a lot of core. Get another body, stay in cardio. And I'm gonna rest. I saw that, two seconds left. <sighs> Ready, curtsy, press. Here we go. Line up. 30 seconds. Come on. It's short. <laughs> Shorter. Let's put it that way. Next round will be rapid fire. 20 seconds. And you're like, wait, what just happened? Four minutes sore. Not even, actually. Yeah, four minutes. It popped into my head. I should have just believed myself. <laughs> Because I was right. All right, for squat, press forward. For rear leg raise, press forward. How we doing? Good? Let's finish, come on. Aim this far. Let's do it. Remember, weight in your heels here. Drive those hips back. Push through the heels as you come up. Keep the weight out of your toes. That keeps the weight out of your knees. And of course, if your knees bother you, you're doing that rear raise, and then press. Up in chest here. You should keep pushing these weights together. You don't feel it. Whew. And press. Nice. Okay, side lunges. Nope, that deadlift twist. I do that. Let's see if I can get through this without messing it up. Deadlift twist each side. Ready? Down. Rotate. Other side. Come on up. Hips back. Follow the weight with your hands. Eyes, I should say, sorry. First, your hands are with the weight. Squeeze those shoulder blades. A lot going on here. Core, abs, obliques, back. All of that is your core and your glutes. So when you come up and you squeeze, you work the lower back as you come up and you squeeze the glutes. They tend to they go right into that lower back. 
So part of the torso. Ready? Side lunge curl. Over top of the curl. Then we're tired. Elbows attached to your waist. tricep extension. Elbows towards me. Ready? Step to your right. Over squat. Up. triceps. Single digits on the clock, almost like that. And rest, all right, ready to crush this? I know we're tired, pick your pace, give me all you got, curtsy press, okay? All you've got in the tank, let's do it. Here we go, curtsy and press. Jogging. 
So we've got that heart rate, and we're not pounding the pavement. Hurting our joints. Now, if you're a runner, and you do other exercises that have impact, not that there's anything wrong with that, but don't do what I did, which was hit classes every single day. Too much. Hit being high intensity, high impact. Side lunge, ready? Jump squats, burpees, and jump lunges every day for almost 20 years. And I ended up with back surgery. I don't want that for you. We don't need to do that to burn calories. We can burn calories by adding this resistance. All right, cool. Down to the deadlift, doing the row with the tap. Ready? Last time, here we go. Let's move. Tap, tap. Two more. Are you feeling out of gas? We should be feeling out of gas. Ready? Wide squat, extend. That's the whole point. Burning it up. All we've got because this 30 sec, 30 minutes is for you. And even though you may be out of gas, you're gonna get a boost of energy from this once you stretch and your heart rate comes back to a normal range, you'll feel energized. It's cool how that happens. Alright, swing through up to a lean. Ready? And up. Control this weight. No, we're going for speed, but I want you to control this too. This is it, ladies. Under 10 seconds, we're done. Yay. And rest. <sighs> okay, how are you feeling? Accomplished? I hope so. Proud? I hope so. Bring one arm across. You may not have wanted to exercise today. Believe me, I have days like that all the time. I remind myself though, if I can just get going, I'm gonna get to this point where we are right now and feel good. Not only did I work my body, I rested my mind, which in our society, we need to do round your shoulders back and lift here. Relax your neck. Letting your mind take a little break. And it does that when the body's moving. The mind takes a bit of a break. It just has to think about the movement. Reach up and over. There's plenty of time to think about all the other stuff, right? Deep breaths, you hear me? Deep breaths, yep. Pat yourself on the back, same arm. Grab the elbow. Lean with me again. Nice deep lean here. Did you like the workout? Did you like the Tabata ladder? Leave me comments. I love your comments. I answer them all. I hope to always be able to do that. I want to grow this channel, but I want to connect with you. So I do that through comments. Pat yourself on the back, grab your elbow, start doing the tricep, and then lean. Come on up, let's step to one side. Keep your head above your heart. Inner thigh stretch here. Heart rate is still not back to our resting heart rate, so we want to avoid putting our head below our heart. Because if you think about it, what happens? Blood pumps up quickly to your brain. And when that happens, you can get dizzy. Potentially, you could pass out. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> Bring your toe up. Feel the back of the leg now. We did the inner thigh, now we're doing the back of the leg. Let's go to the other side. Toe up. Get your hands on your knees. Knees are bent. Back is flat. Okay. Shoulders are relaxed. Round your back, pull your belly button towards your chin. Take a deep breath here. Exhale and round the arch, the back, I'm sorry. Head out of the neck, 
connect out of the shoulders. Shoulders are relaxed. Take a deep breath. Come in. Flatten it around the back again. Flatten it. Roll it all the way up. Big shoulder rolls here. We can lightweight, but we can't move unless I'm other direction. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, deep breath. If you haven't already, exhale. One more time, deep breath. When you open YouTube, you'll see the next workout. We have lots of workouts coming out every single week. So please join me. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you next time.